It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you so let's make the most of this beautiful day since we're together we might as well say would you be mine could you be mine won't you be my neighbor won't you please won't you please please won't you be my neighbor hello television neighbors welcome back to this television neighborhood now before mr mr mcfeely sh shows up with a new f film on the picture picture i want to show you s something first this is the willie nelson so song booklet but bu booklet Here's the Gloria Estefan musical booklet and the clown's nose. Oh, there's somebody at the, the door already. Is it Mr. McFeely? Yes, it is Mr. McFeely. Mr. McFeely, good to see, good to see you. you. Good to see you. How's it been? It it's been going good. Good. Now I hear you you have a film for us in the pretend picture picture. I do. Would you like and, to hear about it? Um, but let me tell the television neighbors what 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 you brought for me. Okay. Mr. McFeely has a film in the picture picture that that is about how people make dinosaur snow cones in the 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 factory. So you know the fascinating thing about this movie is it it 100% started off with the intention of dinosaur dinosaur snow cones. Yes. However, at the film site there was a group of flamingos that were hip hop dancing. Huh. And I decided to make a movie entirely about that. To the picture in picture. Um but but can you uh excuse me, Mr. McFeely? Then watch the thing. Mr. McFeely? Yes. Would you tell our um our uh my television neighbors how the the dinosaur dinosaur snow cones we ended up getting no footage of that whatsoever well yeah. well that's that's okay thank you you're welcome um well now i think it's time to go vi visit my 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 friend again Rupert Isaac Graham at his dinosaur museum again. So come along. Victor, good to see you again. Welcome back to the dinosaur museum. It, Just like you said you would. It's so good to see you again. It's good to see you too, young uh, man. I brought back my uh, television neighbor. Hey, television neighbor, how are you? Um, kind of shy. Doesn't like to talk. Um, so Rupert, what have you been doing at your dinosaur mu museum since the last time I saw you? Well, I've been taking inventory. You know what inventory is? What does that mean? That means just making a list of everything I've got. And one of the fascinating things that came up on the list 
You know what it was? What was it? The pterodactyl parrot bird. I forgot that I had him. He was stuffed in a box down in the basement. Um, Isn't he beautiful? Yes. Uh, root bird. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell me and my television friend, um, because I'm sure they want to know that you were, when you were at least four years old, um, I remember you talk, talking about such things as uh, dinosaur bones and mm -hmm. dinosaur fossils and I was just thinking in my head um, how how did you get all that s started when you were four? Well we talked about this a little bit two weeks ago when you were here the first time I found a dinosaur dinosaur bone in my backyard and I was fascinated with it and I showed it to my father and he was even more fascinated with it and helped me go on an expedition, an archaeological expedition when I was only four years old and we unearthed an entire pterodactyl. And I remember your father be noticed as Mr. G. G. Jack, uh, Jack, uh, Marcus that, Graham. That's right. You remember JMG, Jack Marcus Graham. Now, what was your father really proud of you when you got so interested in dinosaurs as a kid? Oh. My father was beside himself, he was so proud. His little four-year-old boy was becoming a scientist. It made my father very proud, yes. Well, I'd like to thank you for having me here ag again. Okay, shake hands with Terry, Terry the pterodactyl. <laughs> and I'll see you, Chuckles the Clown, back in make-believe. Okay, goodbye television neighbor. Wait, what? wait, wait, wait. Well, that was again a, an interesting visit. Now that that's over with, Let's let's get the trolley and have some make believe right now. N now we've been pretending that Chuckles the the clown was getting a whole whole lot of special d deliveries from Mr. McFeely. Well, let's pretend that Chuckles the the clown is uh, trying to entertain all the ch children in in make believe. So why don't we think some more about that now? As the ch as we pretend that we are on our way to the neighborhood of make believe. Ready to go, tr tr trolley? Okay. Uh, Chuckles the Clown, d director of dinosaur fossils and dinosaur bones, I, I presume. Say moi, say moi, Chuckles. You can call me Chuck if you like. Goodbye, Mr. McFeely. Bye. Uh, At like nine tonight, so if I don't see you. Okay. See you in the morning. I, I remember you, 
Chuckles. I hope in a good way, King Friday. Yes. Oh, in a thank goodness. Very good, good way, Mr. Clown. Yes, well, I have been a clown for a long time. Sometimes that gets me in trouble. Oh, hel hello, dear. It's Queen Sarah again. Hello, Queen Sarah. I am so pleased to see you again. Your beauty is just beyond words. Um, now tell me, dear. Yeah? I heard you told my, my, my husband, King Friday, that you have been making some deliveries with Mr. McFeely for the children. Is that true? Oh, well, that was sweet of your husband, King Friday, to tell you about that. Yes, it's one of the things I do in the charitable spirit of giving. I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. McFeely. You are? You look like Officer Plutsky. No, I am the Mr. McFeely. Oh, well, pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. McFeely. Are you a railroad engineer or a cop? I'm the speed delivery service. Oh, yeah. none of the above, I see. Yes, well, I love your mustache and your tie. Um, thank you. And thank y you, too, tr Trolley. Well, we'll have to make believe some more about, uh, the dinosaur fossils and the dinosaur b bones next next time uh y you know be be being uh d delightful is trying to make somebody feel good about themselves and when you f feel delightful and they're feeling delightful even more, you could be delightful for it too. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that I'll be back when the week is new and I'll have more ideas for, for you and you'll have things you'll want to talk about, I will too. And on our next visit, we'll meet astronaut John Glenn. So, until the next time, bye for now. Bye-bye.